That's the first lap in. Um, Kevin Shields with Canadian Winter Sports. I introduce uh, the first lap coaching services for individuals and groups interested in staying fit year round with a focus on cross country skiing for our winter sporting outing. Today we're, we're doing this little filming uh, along the Ottawa River. Um, this is the area that I grew up in. Had my formative time in amateur sports or minor sport, youth sport, um, and uh, high school sport. Um, I'm the head of sports participation with Canadian Winter Sports um, and we're launching some coaching services uh, to help people be, be more active, physically active in, in sport and recreation uh, through their life. Um, we have two branches in our coaching service that we're adding. Uh, first is Canadian Winter Sports Coaching, which is a consultation service for organizations and communities. Um, and then we have uh, the first lap, which is a coaching service for individuals and groups, uh, providing direct coaching to them in a virtual sense and in person uh, through uh, weekly training plans, also through clinics and camps. I've coached cross-country skiing now for, uh, I think it's 26 years or maybe maybe a year or two longer than that. When our kids were young, we joined a ski club and uh, uh, just fell into the role of leader leadership at, at the club um, at Lappy Nordic um, and coached there for uh, six or seven seasons um, and then moved to Gatineau and coached with Nackertuck Nordic for uh, the previous four years and now I'm working with Canadian Winter Sports. With the first lap, what, we, what we're putting together, what we want to offer um, is, is a really strong match between who your coach is and, and what your interests are in the sport and help, help you develop, develop a program, your program, um, to, to sustain your participation. So we're getting a diverse group of coaches. Our coaches uh, and part of, part of our, our design and our, in, our, in recruiting our coaches is to also support current athletes or, or athletes that have um, developed great leadership skills through their participation in sport, have maybe made these transitions uh, at different points um, you know, continuing after university or, or, or sustain their participation longer. Um, so people that have had that experience and have worked through those things to reach out to people's true interests and what is going to help them sustain their participation through those transition points, whether that's uh, leaving high school um, or whether that's finishing university um, or when they have uh, uh, careers on the go and young families to, to, to sustain their participation through those, those times and, and make, make sport, make winter sport an activity that they're uh, they're able to sustain through throughout their lifespan, so so that's a, a strong point to support um, some of our elite athletes in Canada in um, in their continued participation, their continued competitive careers, and also to give them the opportunity to share back to the community and inspire other people. And I think it's really important that that people. That, that our sporting system starts to develop these these clear uh, these clear transitions. So with with uh, Canadian Winter Sports coaching and, and our first lap coaching services, we want to really support people in sustaining their participation in physical activity. The coaches were uh, a very diverse group of coaches, but always really supportive, always trying to learn uh, and improve what they were doing from uh, from season to season.